Hello everybody, figured I'd do a campsite walk around like I normally do. I've been uh, adding some upgrades to the Jeep. Um, decorative, of course. Um, the wife likes to add the red, so we've been uh, kind of messing with it. and Getting rid of some of the other color and adding the red. I, I kind of like it. Um, hinge covers, door handle covers. Looks like I need to find one for the gas cap, but outside of that, it's pretty good. Um, we do have sewer hookup this time. You can see it down there. And you can see a mess. Um, kind of getting ready to go move on the road, so we've got a little bit of uh, stuff to go to storage and stuff like that. Of course, you know, always got the bike handy. Um, the campsite itself isn't bad. I mean, pretty big um, got the tent set up go on in here hey buddy how you doing yeah he has to be on the rope even though he's inside the fence because he'll jump the fence without an issue um, yeah I got somewhat of a setup going here I haven't even finished unpacking yet but as you can see got a great view of the woods pretty quiet um, the tent I got my son with me now so the tent itself is kind of big set up um, he's got his computer look at the size of this beast he has crazy and I just use a little laptop myself but um, his bed sleeping bags on the floor because my dog doesn't want pillows or sleeping bags on her bed when she's sleeping <laughs> In my room in here, just as messy. Um, I put up the divider wall so we got a little bit of privacy. This is my chair here and my view. So definitely enjoying it. Um, and the rocks that I got to mail out for the giveaway. Um, really can't, the camera doesn't do them justice. They're absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I figured I'd just do a short little walk around camp. I do have a neighbor right there in a tent trailer, but overall, yeah, we're on that. We're on a different section in this campground. We're at the Chehalis Thousand Trails in Washington, and we figured we'd try a different spot because they're closing down a whole bunch of areas out here for maintenance. But it's quiet. Everybody here is quiet, and it's it's full. I mean, the campground is pretty full, but it's quiet. Which is nice. You don't get that too often when it's full campground. Especially on the weekends. Yeah, big guy. He He's happy. But, um, Ruby, my old girl, she doesn't have to be on the rope out here. Because she won't jump the fence. Overall, yeah, my wife's in the motorhome, of course, watching TV, watching a movie or something. I'm just actually enjoying the sight. Um, it's nice to have enough room for the tent, always. Doesn't always happen. And yeah, like I said, I'm half unpacked. I got a huge mess here. But yeah, I'm backed up to the woods. I can see a field out there. Um, which I will be doing a video out there. I don't know whether I'll do a live or not. But I will go out there when I get my drone next week because it's a great place for me to practice. I have no clue how to use a drone. So it'll be fun. Um, yeah, I haven't even cooked yet. I have no kitchen set up. Well, I did cook some ramen on the old camping stove, but got a lot to do. Just been lazy a couple days. I don't see a problem with that. And I think part of the, the camping is being able to have those lazy days. But it is nice, we're able to use the shower, do laundry while we're here, because we have a washer and dryer inside the motorhome. And with the, with the sewer hookup, hey, we can just keep going until everything's washed, which is nice. And you see, I don't even have the covers on my picnic table yet. I've gotta get a f American flag that I just picked up. I gotta get it rigged up on the motorhome somehow, get it working, it's over here. 
it's still in the box. I don't want to take it out of the box until I'm actually ready to put it up. Um, my wife and I, we both uh, got a lot of respect for the American flag. Um, in our last campsite, um, we had an issue with the guy across from us because his kept hitting the ground. Um, not something you're supposed to do. And yeah, you can see I got a power cord run all the way out to the tent. So we got our power there. Pretty good sight. Um, we've never been in this section before. I've, I've ridden my bike through here many, many times. Picked up some water. Of course, got the portable ice chest. Um, nothing but garbage in it. And you got to have your good foods. And that thing keeps everything really frozen, too, so it's kind of nice. Oh, got our little flag up. It's the only place I could find the ground soft enough to put it in. Um, in this area, there are a lot of permanents. Uh, people that are full-time got the slot themselves. You can purchase a slot from Thousand Trails and stay there. Um, you can only stay half a year at a time, but you can have the slot for the whole year. Mm. But yeah. No fire pit. Well, I threw the fire pit into the bushes. So I don't want it. Don't need it. And it's still dry out here, so fires aren't really a good idea. But yeah, can you beat the view? This is this is the Pacific Northwest and it's finest right here. Nothing but green. Of course that'll change here soon, but I'm hopefully I'm moving on by the time it starts going to autumn and we start getting the constant rain don't miss the rain much but i do at times we did get some while i was out at the beach which wasn't bad and yeah i'm gonna do a review here pretty soon on the bike now that i got a couple hundred miles on it i've got some goods some bads but i'll talk about that in a separate video yeah i just figured to do a quick little camp walk around and thank you for watching Say hi, buddy.